Hey guys, Mike here. So happy Friday to everybody and like somebody said in the comments, I don't think this is going to be one of those videos where you have to go, oh boy, right? And I said in the comments, don't worry, the day is early and by you'll see by the chart, yeah, it was almost one of those, oh boy, here we go. But very volatile day, ended green, all the indexes up percent to percent and a half and stuff. And so we're going to go into that. We got labor news that came out. We're going to go through the charts. The, the how the the people and i'm not talking about regular people but traders big money loading up on puts so i assume they think we're going one way to shorten the heck out of it and manipulating the living daylights out of certain stocks it's insane what's going on but i want to start off with this and see how you guys feel about this in the comments i saw this my post on twitter today and they said basically saying f you mark zuckerberg because obviously this is a, a big time account right had over three million dollars in it and you can see the loss of 74% because their average is 341 in meta. And so I was wondering, you know, are any of you guys feeling it like this right here? Are you still holding, uh, hoping the metaverse works out or what? And I appreciate people posting stuff like this, but I mean, that's that's got to be painful, man. But I, I said that's what I assume a lot of uh, shareholders are in, right? And so then going into the labor, I mean, shockingly, the unemployment number went up to 3.7. Of course, we've been there two months ago at 3.7 before we dropped down to 3.5. And you can see historically very, very, very low. And, I'm, you know, according to the Fed, they want to try to get it up to, I guess, four and a half to five, somewhere in there, maybe five and a half. And so we could still be good, still in a strong economy. Uh, we'll see if they're able to get us there. Digging deeper into it, you can see non-farm payrolls right here still trajecting up. And it came in hotter than expected and so but the good news is month over month is slowing down so it's still going up and i, I always say look at these increases right here versus back from 2015 to 2019 right and so it is slowing down which i mean is what the fed wants to see but it really looks like we got a, a long way to go to be honest with you uh and then when you look at what really the fed's looking at price stability right and this is once again congratulations to people getting raises i'm very happy for you actually but hourly earnings for all employees you can see it's been ticking down but look where it's at there and then look where it was at in 2019 right at its highest peak and i mean that is that's quite a jump right and so again i mean this is what the fed wants down they don't want to keep seeing raises like i told you you know people i know people they're actually the big thing to do now is just skip uh, switch to another job which will get 7.8 percent on average versus a 5.6 percent raise and that leads us into the markets today and you might have noticed a couple sectors that were up mm, one was oil it was up nicely uh, biggest like one day move up in quite a while the other one was the chinese stocks and if you look right here, boom, I mean, look at Neo and Xping, 14 to 18%. Bob and them, they, these were all up 10% before they sold off a little bit way up. And the reason why, like I told the members this morning, uh, basically it's all just hope and rumor at this point in time that um, China is going to stop their zero COVID policy, stop doing lockdowns. And you can see they've lost $6 trillion already. And so, you know, this is what the hopes on. I, I haven't seen any factual stuff come out about this at all. I've even seen the Chinese government say, don't know what you're talking about. And we've seen this song and dance a couple of times this year. It's almost like a, the Fed pivot, right? This is the thing people are hoping the Chinese stocks because they are at just, I mean, record historic lows at this point in time. And of course, that leads us into the S&P here in America. And you can see what we talked about yesterday right there. What were we hitting off of? Uh, the 0.5 Fibonacci retracement level, you get that one, the 618, you get a lot of bounces. Well, guess what? We bounced. That's what happened, right? And so, you know, the question is, are we going to end up sitting there going down to fill that gap down there below us, as you can see? And we'll look at it on the hourly, you can get a better shot. Or start heading back up is the big question. But more importantly, I think what you see more than anything is we're just sitting here back in this chop box again, right? I mean, tons of volatility. And if you look on the hour chart, you can see right here, this is the gap we got to fill. This hadn't been filled since like October 14th. And it, it really isn't that far down, guys. A little bit's 4% uh, to fill the gap. That's all it is. So it's not even a big drop at all. And if we scroll over to the three minute, you'll see what I'm talking about. You see this big gap up? And then bam, another 1% drop, just like that. Go up percent and a half and then look what happens that's not good enough two percent drop down right and then look what happens at the end of the day i mean just super super choppy i think it's going to be that way for a while especially when we're in that box right there and you know the, the one positive thing for the market is look at the dollar 
it's looking weaker than we've seen in quite a while, right? I mean, it's broken the trend line. It can't, and it got rejected off the trend line from August. Then you look at the long standing trend line, which has gone all the way back to February of the beginning of the year. And it bounced off this, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine times now. Now we're sitting in the 10th spot, I believe. We're sitting right on it. And so if that breaks, you can guarantee people are going to be selling dollars like crazy, right? Which is actually strong for the stock market. And you can start seeing a surge in growth stocks. And don't forget to hit that like, subscribe button, guys, and share the video. It really helps beat the algorithm and push the videos out to new people and continue to grow the community. I really appreciate everything, guys. And some of you are asking me about this, and yeah, we're, they still got the $99 special on Seeking Alpha right there. It's normally $239. I know some of you guys have signed up for that. And on their site, obviously, you can go through your uh, news. You can go through stock ideas. They have a ton of them. And you can set up your stock screeners if you like, which is one of the things I like to do on there. And again, huge discount going on. So take advantage of it, right? The link's down in the description below. And so that leads us into one thing that's been very strange this week is the massive amount of either shorting or manipulation going on, right? With these stocks, I'm talking about big money, okay? And, and one of them was Roku, right? I talked about it yesterday a little bit, but 20% drop. And I mean, look at those volume bars down there. Massive, that is not us, that's big money. Uh, moving this thing back up like that in a hurry and then selling it off again today and i mean if you look over at twilio or twilio however you pronounce it they had earnings i mean look at this drop good lord 30 some percent down just got crushed there's another uh, stock just like this and anywhere software stocks got just crushed like 25 to 35 percent in one day which is unbelievable moves right i mean look at the the selling that's big money right shoving this thing down Will they move it up like Roku? I don't know. Then there's DraftKings. Look at this one. I think it's the biggest move I've ever seen down in one day for the stock, like 30% down. Look at the volume bars. Again, big money just driving. And they've been driving it up. They had been driving, 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 and then just pulled the rug on it. And this right here, these are ETF options uh, volume. Uh, on the right there is the puts, the left's the calls. You can see expiring today, there's more puts, but look at the 18th, right? Look at how many puts over calls there is right there. See the same thing on a much smaller scale going on the 16th of December and then in the beginning of 2023. But look at November 18th. People were betting that the Qs, the SPY, anything on IWM are absolutely going down this month. I don't know what the deal with that is because usually when you have midterms, it's super volatile, but actually you sometimes get a spike depending on how it goes. But uh, I was surprised to see it was that far sway to the put side. And so we'll see because, you know, it doesn't mean they're right. But, yeah, you can guarantee, I mean, <laughs> if you do see us go down, that's why, right? And it's no different than what you saw today. You know, we were talking in the Discord about Max Payne and stuff like that. And if you're unfamiliar with Max Payne, it is the price at which the stock would cause financial losses for the largest number of option holders at expiration so if they're expiring today and one of the members actually put this in here with max Payne on the spot was 378 iwm iwm max Payne 179 and i just kind of found it funny where do we reach today 179 before you see the massive sell-off right there and on the spot you can see 379 on the dot and so i just find that funny i mean i usually don't pay attention to it until monthly expirations but you know you tell me who's controlling that hmm is that us? Is that market makers? Big money? You know, it's just funny to see that. But anyway, I'll end up hitting you guys up Sunday. Let you know what's going on for the week. We've got some other big earnings coming out. More economic data. CPI coming out next week, which is going to be huge. Let me know in the comments what you think the number is going to be. I think they projected like 8.1 or something. We'll see because they've been wrong almost every time. And it's coming hotter than expected. So we'll end up seeing on that right there. But anyway... I uh, hope you guys have a good weekend, and I will see you Sunday.